Hi, this is Brian. In this video, I'd like to show you how to remove one of the older Watchtower libraries from the Watchtower for a Mac application. So the first thing, uh, let me show you what it looks like. You may see it uh, on your computer as well. I'm just going to start the uh, Watchtower for Mac. So you'll see that uh, you have two libraries that show up in your little bookshelf here. So the objective is to remove this older 2011 and then we'll leave the 2012 and I'll be installing the 2013 later. So I'm going to close Watchtower for Mac. First thing we need to do is to go into Finder and we need to go to the user's library. To do that, we need to go to the uh, Macintosh HD, which might be uh, name differently on your machine but that should be the default Macintosh HD and if we go to users there's my user and then you'll see that there is no library folder by default so the way that you need to get to that is to go up to the menu click on go and we still don't see library listed here but what we do is we press the option key and now you see library shows up. If I release it, it goes away. It's back. So then we click on library. Now we have all of the folders contained in the library folders. And we need to go to application support. Scroll down to Watchtower Library for Mac. And then you'll see, in my case, I have two documents. And they're both... Uh, about uh, 500 meg documents that's uh, 497 and 493 and then we want to take note of the dates this was installed on 12 16 2012 and then we have the other one on 6 21 of 13 so this is my latest one so let's go back to the other one and i'm going to do a right click move to trash and it is now gone and then i will close well, I'll just go to Applications and then start up Watchtower Library. And now we can see that the 2011 library is gone. And we're just left with the 2012. And that's how you remove the older Watchtower libraries for Watchtower Library for Mac. Thanks for watching.